Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know. But FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. Well, first things first, it was another crazy week on SmackDown Live as we have a new WWE champion after Trey beat Adam Cole. You mean Samoa Joe and his cyborg arm beat Adam Cole. By the way, I've been thinking about modifying one of my appendages. From what I hear, the prices have really come down the past few years. Oh yeah? What did you have in mind? Ah, uh, nothing major. Maybe just like a robotic ear or one of my pinky toes. Even though prices have dropped, I'm still on an indie budget. Uh, I get the ear, I guess, but what would you even do with a bionic pinky toe? The pinky toe is the most underrated of toes. Without it, you wouldn't be able to run, walk, or skip. So if I had a bionic pinky toe, I'd be able to do all of those things, but way better. Can you imagine how good of a skipper I would be? No, no I can't. But that brings up a good point. How is it fair for Samoa Joe, or any superstar, to have a competitive advantage like that? It's the world we live in now. Man and machine are becoming one and the same. And besides, it's not like this type of thing hasn't existed in WWE before. Hulk Hogan once wrestled wearing a helmet with a giant fist on it. <laughs> oh yeah, the war bonnet. <laughs> yeah, and was that fair? Jake the Snake had his cobra by Macho Man. Was that fair? Papa Shango put voodoo spells on his opponents to make them puke and ooze black stuff out of their heads. I'd say that was a competitive advantage. Okay, point taken. Either way, I wouldn't want to have to face Joe and his cybernetic arm anytime soon. Sorry, Trey, but I think you're in big trouble. Maybe Trey should look into a bionic pinky toe. Then he could at least run away a lot faster from Joe. Just a thought. I hope you're feeling all right after that still cage match. Look, if you're worried about our match later, I'll be fine. Turns out I actually perform better with possibly cracked ribs. Just remember, the winning mixed match challenge team gets $500,000 to donate to whatever charity they want. I don't want to miss out on that because you've got your hands full with other things. My hands aren't full at all. Look, completely empty. I even had time to think of an awesome team name, Team Rowdy Trey. You clearly just thought of that, so I think that proves my point about you being distracted. No, that took weeks of brainstorming. I swear, I even had a think tank put their heads together on it. Whatever, just make sure you bring your A-game later. The Mixed Match Challenge starts tonight and everyone else knows who they're teaming with. So when are you going to tell me who my partner is on my way to the ring? Oh, did I forget to assign you a partner? Must have slipped my mind. 
Yeah, I'm sure. To make it up to you, I'll let you choose your teammate. Great. I choose Seth Rollins. You didn't let me finish. I'll let you choose from a group of superstars that I've selected. Is Seth Rollins one of them? No. Your choices are Kurt Hawkins, who's now lost over 1,000 consecutive matches, your old trainer, Riley Flash, who I have no doubt is in tremendous ring shape, especially after just flying in from Calgary on six connections. It was the cheapest fare I could get last minute. And finally, Drew McIntyre. You might remember he recently helped Becky Lynch acquire your SmackDown Live Women's Championship, so I'm sure you two would work really well together. I know it must be hard to pick from those three amazing options, but I need an answer now. See, when you're willing to put your gas station toilet seat of an attitude aside, we can work together after all. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Nashville, Tennessee, the Brawler. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. And Byron, it's almost as if she's literally beaming with pride each time she steps into the ring. And good for her, Michael, though I will tell you that some of her detractors are mistaking that pride for conceit. The infamous Riley Flash is here. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 252 pounds, Riley Flash. Riley Flash might be a bit past his prime, but he's a veteran of this business, so you can't take him lightly. Oh, Cole, I mean, looking at how out of shape he is, I don't think anyone's going to be taking him lightly. <laughs> Well, I think we can all agree that this will be no easy match for him here tonight. Yeah, but you could say that about every match here on the card. There's no such thing as a cakewalk here in the WWE.
I've only got one thing to say. Mella and is from Staten Mark. Island, New York, Carmella. Hey, I know you hate when I say this, Corey, but Carmella truly loves to have fun. I hate you, Byron, so much. Almost as much as you hate fun? Come on, I'm ready for a dance break. One of these days, Byron, they're going to shut off your microphone, and I cannot wait. Carmella, unbelievable career thus far in WWE, and the sky's the limit for this young lady. What are you guys, both on the bandwagon or something? I started the bandwagon. Say hello to the top 1% of WWE. And weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3. Look at the physique on EC3. This guy's got muscles in places. Most people don't even have places. Talk about an incredible story. A superstar who left WWE years ago, reinvented himself, got himself in the best shape of his life, to your point, Corey. And now he is back in, in his words, in the top 1%. Are you doubting him? I'm just repeating what he says. Corey, you gotta realize Byron spent most of his life in the bottom 99. That's not true. As the mixed match challenge kicks off, most teams have had weeks to prepare. However, due to Brooklyn Von Braun dragging her feet, Red's team formed just moments ago. This has to be a major disadvantage. I agree, not to mention they didn't even have time to come up with a cool team name. That should be the least of their concerns, Saxon. The real issue here is Riley Flash hasn't won a match in like 30 years, if ever. Red might as well be out there teaming with a sack of potatoes. Carmella may be in a bad way here. Ooh, well measured. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She's a lady that can crank it up at the drop of a hat. Oh, yeah. Scoop slam. Devastating kick. On their shoulders, down in a hurry. Elbow drop. Ooh, bullseye. Oh, targeting the stomach. Oh, and scoop slam. with a belly to belly. Hooking it up here, what's next? Boom! Incredible suplex. A lot of damage taken on by Carmella. I'm not sure how this will pan out. Oh! Carmella with a nice reversal. 
Shoulders down. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Oh, look at that scoop slam. with a belly to belly. Up on their shoulders. Yeah. Down in a hurry. Attack to the midsection. Molly just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, targeting the stomach. Elbow drop. Just caught flush. Elbow drop with authority. Hooking it up here. What's next? Suplex. Up there. I think that'll do it. It's going to be hard for Carmella to come back now. Stringing together some big. This could do it. somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. Oh, my God. Well, he's a scoop slam. Strong kick. My goodness. Elbow drive. Pearson. Oh, ouch. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Taking out the arm. Great strategy. She's really targeting the torso here tonight. Weakening the core. I love it. Carmella just barely got out of the way. She ducks out of the way there. Attack to the midsection. Reversal. Wow, what a sequence. Or a pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. match toward the end. I thought there might be some tension between these two heading in, but I guess not. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.